Hello, and welcome to XMS Institute. Today, I'm very excited to be able to tell you about the autonomous MSMS matching system that we've just launched. This system allows you to be able to search your MSMS data that you've uploaded to XMS Online and be able to visualize and interact with the data in the XMS Online interface. You can see that I'm already at the start page. And from here, to view my results, I can simply go to the XMS Online View Results tab. From here, I can see all of the different results that I've uh, come to know. And I can view this one result uh, that, I or that I ran with some MSMS data in it. You're met with a normal, familiar six-panel plot of my, EI, uh, my TICs, my retention time plot, my PCA, my cloud plot. But if we go to the results table, this is where uh, some of the changes uh, have been made. And you can see, if I click on my, uh, my features, I get my EICs and my spectra plots, my box whiskers plots. Um, but you'll also notice that there's these plus symbols down the side here. And if I go and I click on one of the plus symbols, I get a whole load of uh, new data which comes up. And it tells me um, what the score was for that MSMS match, uh, the name of that compound which was found in the Metlin database, uh, the precursor mass, uh, the delta PPM that it was away from the, the database match. Uh, this pre max O is the maximum intensity of the precursor. And then this is the retention time that the precursor was found at. So if I click on any one of these, you'll see that I get a uh, MSMS mirror plot here in the side. And I also forgot to mention down the side here, you'll get told what file uh, this is from. So this is the actual file that was used to match this uh, spectra. So if you want to go back to that file and have a look at that individual spectra, this is, uh, this is what you'll use to be able to do that. So I just want to take you to one of the examples that I've already uh, looked at before, which had a very good match. So you can see that this is, um, that this particular feature here had only uh, one compound that was matched uh, at all three different collision energies. So this was a collision energy of 10, 20, and uh, 40. And this was because the collision energy of the instrument either wasn't matched perfectly or uh, uh, was not known. And so if I click on any one of these, again, I get this uh, MSMS plot. And I can go here and see that the best match was against this collision energy of 20. So if I click on this, I can see that I get a very good match. And if I click on the image, I get an uh, enlarged image. And I can see that, again, this was a very, very good match. Now, you may be asking, how exactly can I run this type of data? Well, the great thing is, is that uh, any one of the existing pairwise or multigroup jobs uh, with uploaded MSMS data will already go ahead and process uh, the autonomous uh, MSMS matching. Um, so there is no change to be able to uh, uh, run these type of jobs except for running uh, and uploading MSMS data. I hope that you found this tutorial uh, useful and interesting. And of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to uh, email us at xmsonline at scripts.edu. Thank you.